Warning, the following show is performed by a complete amateur or under the supervision of amateurs. The video is for entertainment purposes only. For the safety and protection of those around you, do not attempt to make any financial decisions based on this information. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Andrew. I hope you are doing well. I want to do this quick video on the OMI token because I haven't talked about the OMI token in a while. And frankly, there hasn't been a lot of news on the OMI token in a while. If you've been following this project closely, you know there's been some initiatives at the end of last year that the Ecomi team wanted to get done during you know this first quarter into second quarter. You know we're coming up towards the end of the first quarter, and we haven't seen a lot done. We've seen a lot of stagnation, which has caused a lot of frustration. And we know that there's a lot going on in the world right now, so. Ultimately, I understand why you're frustrated, you know, with both sides of the Ecomi project with the the VV app itself and the Omi token as well. But I am buying the Omi token right now. So, I want to go over those reasons why. These are just my reasons for me personally, you know, this definitely is not financial advice, but I want to give you the reasons why I'm buying right now and maybe it'll work out for you and kind of give you something to think about as well. So, before we jump into the details, if you're a subscriber to this channel, thank you so much for all your support. If you're not a subscriber and you want to get these videos, want to update them, hit that like button, comment down below. It really helps out the algorithm, get this out to people looking for it. And of course, hit that subscribe button and let's jump into it. So as you can see, when I'm filming this video, this is on Sunday, we see the, the price at 0 .0038 and we're down into the threes again. And honestly, at the end of last year with all the initiatives that the Ecomi team were talking about hitting earlier this year with the Omi token, with the exchanges, with MTL coming out, no one's really sure if we'd get down to these levels again. But we have a ton of world events that are pushing down the prices of crypto across the board. You know, we have really pretty negative sentiment in the overall markets, not just the crypto market, but the stock market right now. So because of all that, everything is getting pushed down. And now we're starting to see that 0 0.0038 mark. So the first reason that I'm buying the OMI token right now is just simple for dollar cost averaging. When I initially bought into this project, it was right around here, 0 0.003 in the early March time when I first heard about the OMI token and I bought my first little bit at that 0 0.003. It was pretty shortly after that where we saw that huge run up and I was like everyone else. I kind of got sucked in, you know, it was during that, that altcoin pump where things were just going crazy. And during this dip, I bought a little bit more about the 0 0.009 mark as well. But then from there, we all know the story. It has slowly trickled down and, you know, there's that one point where, you know, Elon Musk came out about Bitcoin mining and how it's bad for the environment and how China was buying or uh, banning Bitcoin mining as well out of their whole country. And we saw a huge drop in the overall crypto market again. And because of that, we saw these here and we saw a dip down into the, I think to the teens. Yeah, I got into the teens here for a little bit, which was crazy. That I mean, if that happens again, I'll be buying with, with both hands and both feet. But I feel very comfortable from where I've bought in the past that at this 0 0.003, mark in between 0 0.003, 0 0.004. I'm very comfortable buying. Just knowing that if it gets back up to where it got before, which I expect to, you know, who knows when, but I expect to at some point get back up to that mark. And that's an easy three or four X on your money. And, you know, I don't care who you are or what investment that you're in. That's a pretty dang good return. Just knowing that it's already got to that level before. So, that is reason number one that I'm buying. Number two is because of mass FUD. There are so much FUD going around. And if you check any of the you know Facebook groups, Telegram groups as well, there's just negative sentiment all the way around. And I understand it. I understand the frustration from that, especially if you're a newer investor. You got in when things were really pumping uh, right at the beginning of this year. You know, everyone's super excited who's been in this project, you know, all of last year, seeing this huge rise up. But if you were someone who just came to the project, put some money in, expecting it to, you know, 5, 10x from there, 
now we're starting to see uh, quite a bit of a correction in the, the overall VV market. So we're seeing a lot of negative posts and I don't want to single anyone out by any means. Uh, just because of that, when I'm seeing the mass FUD, you know, I'm not a TA guy. I just kind of check how, how things are, you know, how people are feeling about things. And when I see that mass FUD circulation going around, for me, that's a buying signal. So that's just me personally. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor, but that is why I'm buying some OMI token right now as well. Number three is, it's a pretty boring reason of why I'm buying right now. It's because things are boring. You know, there's not a lot of news. We we're expecting the exchanges to come out. You know, we're expecting the MTL to come out. We're expecting, you know, just more and more things to happen. I made the mistake early when I was investing in crypto that, you know, in 2017, 2018, you know, Ethereum was still pretty new and, you know, Bitcoin was really having, I think it was it was basically it's like third kind of real pump cycle when it got up to, you know, $20,000 and when it came down, for those couple years, I kind of faded away. You know, I wasn't putting in the work. I wasn't, you know, doing my due diligence on, you know, projects like this and things that, you know, once the the overall market comes back around, that really has a chance to pop off. And the people that do that, that put in the work when it's boring and where there's that mass FUD, usually when the market recovers, those are the ones who make a lot of money. And then it's the people who or once the, the news comes back around and every news station is talking about crypto again and how these gains are getting crazy, that's when people buy in. And then during that next correction, then you're you're down again. So when things are boring, that's when I'm, I'm doing some dollar cost averaging, some buying there. And because of that mass FUD and we haven't had a lot of news, I think it's really the calm before the storm. So I'm buying a little bit more, adding it to my stock of OMI that I already have. Number four is the OMI burn rate. Now, if you don't follow this Twitter page here, OMI Daily Burn, you should. And especially if you're checking all the other you know, Facebook, Telegrams, Discords, things like that, where you're seeing just a lot of negative things going on. This is something that really helps put things into perspective. You know, we know that the OMI token is deflationary and as these prices are lower, with each one of these drops, we're seeing a lot of burns. And if you go through and see the daily burns and burns, especially on drop days, it's staggering. And I don't have the spreadsheet here uh, of exactly the OMI burn to date for this year, but we're talking tens of billions of coins that have been burnt this year. Now, if you go through here and look on a daily basis, you can see that we are at minimum burning millions of OMI tokens a day. But on days like this, where we're burning billions of tokens a day, it's exceeding my expectations on the amount of burn. And as we know, just the more it burns, the less there is to go around. And when there's really utility built into OMI, where we have OMI to NFT and you know a number of different ways to or use OMI, then we're all going to be happy that we're sat on this and went through the rough times like we're going through now. You know, here's even Jeremy Padware here, which if you don't know about him, go follow him, do some research on him as well. He's a big fan. You know, he he knows this project inside and out. And just like he says here these burns are enormous. I'm holding with the personal expectations of more and various utility and major exchanges. And once again, just like I said, things are boring right now. We don't have that. But as soon as we announce that, or as soon as those are built in, and that's when you want to start buying in, usually you don't get as good as a return. You know, So that's just kind of the overall way that things go. So that's another reason that I'm buying right now, just because of this OMI burn and how it's really exceeding my expectations on how fast we're actually burning through these supplies. Now, last but not least, the reason I'm buying more into OMI right now is because of the MTL. You know, we know that it's coming and a lot of people have been upset just because of the delay with MTL, which is totally justified. But also, too, with the, the fee that, that the MTL, when you cash out your gems into, you know, U.S. dollar or, you know, whatever currency you're, you're cashing out in, that there's going to be a 10% fee that the Ecomi and VV team announced to be able to cash out of the app. But my speculation is, once again, not confirmed at all, just my thinking here, that they are trying to incentivize people in the future to use OMI more, to use to have OMI to come into the app and OMI to come out of the app. 
And I think it's gonna be cheaper uh, once the OMI to NFT happens and you're able to move things in and out with crypto and OMI. And it's gonna, by looking over at gems and using fiat, you know, maybe a lot of people are gonna get into the app that way because that's the whole benefit with the VV app is that it's so easy to get in, add your credit card, you know, just uh, buy some gems and you're playing the, the game right now. But once you're in for a little bit and you start looking at the ways to get out, maybe the OMI route is significantly cheaper. Um, you know, even if it's 5% cheaper than, than getting it out via GEMS cash out feature, or maybe that's their overall goal is for more OMI adoption in the future. Now, what you have to remember as you know, an investor in this is that the team is very much incentivized to make OMI work as well. It looks like they've thrown OMI to the side, but think about it. The app has really been out for just over a year now, and they're really getting things up and going. And that's the beauty about crypto and this space to begin with is that we get this early access to projects like you know VCs did back in the day. But with that comes the early bumps and bruises. And you have to understand that if you're getting into these projects so early, and you know, especially if you, you want to be bragging to your friends later on, then you got to get in the mindset that there's going to be these bumps and you know the things along the road. If you're investing in something that's completely polished, ready to go, you know, to the masses without a hitch, then most likely, you know, you're going to see those, you know, pretty minimal returns on a, you know, annual basis with, with those types of investments. So, I mean, just look at the, uh, just look at the stock market. By the time you get something that's listed on the stock exchange and you invest into them, you know, unless you hit some, you know, type of unicorns like Tesla and things like that, it's usually pretty steady, just, you know, humble returns there which is fine if that's the game that you want to play. But I think we're all into this arena because we see where this is going. We're seeing that how this is going to impact the world with NFTs and the fact that we're here so, so early that yes, there are bumps and bruises that we're going to get along the way. But ultimately, you know, because of this, it should be a, a pretty good return here in the future. And if we're talking about five years down the road, which I think personally, especially in getting into something like this, that that should be your mindset is at least five years down the road is when the money that you plan to put in that that's when you're going to start taking it out because this isn't a quick thing. And not to say that we're not going to see some major pumps here when we add some exchanges or utility that gets everyone excited. But ultimately, I think the returns that we're all hoping that this will have, it's going to take longer. And by doing that, by dollar cost averaging on you know, dips like this. And when things are boring, when we know what's coming, it just hasn't happened yet. And we're seeing that mass FUD. That's ultimately why I'm buying OMI right now. So let me know what your thoughts are. Once again, this is never financial advice. I just want to give you my reasons why I'm, I'm buying some OMI right now, adding it to my stack. And once again, if it dips below this, if it dips the 0 0.003 mark, I'm buying more. Uh, but during these opportunities, when this is the original price that I bought in at. I've seen where this has gone. I follow this project close enough where I know where this stuff is going. And uh, it may be taking longer than you expected, but ultimately, once it gets there, I think we're all going to be happy that we dollar cost average in on events like this when the market is quite down right now. So let me know your thoughts. Am I crazy here or are you doing the same thing? Put in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. And once again, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, Hit that subscribe button if you want to get these videos. Throw a thumbs up and comment down below. Really helps the algorithm get this information out to people who are looking for it. Thanks a lot. Have a great week. I'll see you on the next one.